What's good YouTube? Mikey Sam here, back again, once again. And today, people, today, I have a big smile on my face because my Bullseye Blaze package has finally come. Um, now, as I get into opening this little story about how long and how <laughs> annoying this has been uh, to get these, so a little warning for anyone ordering from the UK or Europe outside the EU. Um, I ordered these back in... I ordered these back in September, um, and uh, it's January now when I'm recording this, so it's taken a while. Um, there was a month delay because of something to do with bullseye blades, but they've chucked me a six inch kunai in here uh, for free because of that. Uh, but also, they were supposed, they were sent out in October, and I had an email notification saying that they'd be with me by the end of October. And Hermes, delivery company, renowned for being absolutely shit. Um, <laughs> they, uh, they said they tried to deliver a package. Well, no, they, they said they delivered a package. And I got home and there wasn't a package there. And I looked into it and I thought it was this package. Uh, I, I, I think it still might have been uh, about this package at the time. Um, so it wasn't there. I've been in contact with Hermes since November. Uh, like I say, it's now January. And they just never got back to me, never got back to me, never got back to me. Eventually, I get a letter through the post from Parcel Force, which I think is probably the same company as Hermes, um, saying I've got to pay import tax. So these cost me £289 as it was. Um, so plus import tax. That's, uh, I've now paid, well, <laughs> import tax is £88. So I've now paid almost £400 for these beauties. This is my first time seeing them now <laughs> wow <laughs> what a uh, let me turn the light on yeah it might not do much but um that is that is a <laughs> beautiful uh blaze so these are the uh the sidewinders um i forgot to uh get the uh the specs up but um yeah nice and blunt as they uh as they should be um, 12 and a half inches in length, I believe. Actually, I might be wrong on that. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to drop it in the description what exactly they are, or you can go and uh, look up yourselves. Um, yeah, so I got the sidewinders. I also got uh, these bits on with them. And, uh, yeah, nicely packaged, all in, wrapped up nicely in bubble wrap. This is going to be my six inch kunai that they sent me as an, uh, as an apology for sending them out late, which... Uh, the next competition isn't until July, so it's fine. Plenty of time to uh, get my practice in uh, with them. Uh, so that's the reason I bought these, actually. So I'm more of a no-spin thrower myself, and I came fourth in the latest UK uh, national no-spin, which I was disappointed about. I do hope to uh, improve on that next year. Uh, but I was awful in the, in the rotational game. So that's why I have spent a lot of money on a set of uh, rotational... Uh, throwing knives um, so I can improve my uh, rotational game uh, yeah very weighty again I, uh, I forgot to recap myself on the um, on the specs of the knives um, but yeah <laughs> feels uh, very comfortable to hold in hand they've got these sort of uh, ridges here for your fingers uh, to be held that way around I guess you could throw it that way around if you really wanted to um, and they'll be very nice to throw as well uh, on the half spin. So, a little look at the uh, the kunai. Oh, oh, that's the pointy. <laughs> I that's the pointy end on that side, and I just stabbed myself uh, with that. Yeah, only if I had a uh, a knife to uh, <laughs> open this. So here we go. Ah, oh, that's cute. <laughs> that is cute, actually. Um, yeah, a little uh, a little six inch uh, kunai. Yeah, blunt, but that was a, that was quite pointy, um, and it's actually got a decent thickness to it, so that would be quite fun to throw uh, on the no spin uh, as well. Um, obviously, I probably wouldn't throw this uh, too often, um, but that's actually uh, that's, uh, that's that's cute. That is cool. So uh, so there they are. That's the uh, the unboxing. I probably will post a review video on these at some point in the future. Though myself, I'm not much of a rotational throwing guy, so. I'll have to up my rotational game before I uh, post some clips uh, of me throwing these. 
Okay, so even though it might not look like it, this is the next day. I have managed to uh, get out onto the range today uh, as I am working. It's actually a pretty nice day so far. I'm not sure it's better to stay like this all day, so I'm going to get as much throwing uh, in as I can uh, for now. Okay, so just another little closer look uh, at the knife. So that's the, uh, the Bullseye Blade Sidewinder, and you're going to see my first couple of throws with it now. Uh, I'm very excited to uh, try them out. Well, I hit the target on that second throw, that's for sure. <laughs> ah, not quite on that third one, but uh, yeah, I, I hit my target first two times on, on that set of throws. Uh, feeling good so far. <laughs> uh, <laughs> again, two out of three. Uh, yeah, I'm liking them. Um, let's also try out the uh, the six inch kunai that I've got. I'm actually going to throw this one no spin. It sort of makes sense to me. Uh, let's do that one. Yeah, it's cool. It worked. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty good. Uh, so I'm just going to leave first impressions in this video. I like them. <laughs> They're very good. Um, if I do a review video, if that does come out in the coming weeks, I'll do all sorts of techniques. I'll do half spin, uh, well, one and a half spin, uh, full spin, distance, uh, maybe a few little trick shots. We'll, we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you uh, all for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Drop a sub if you like as well. Uh, my goal this year, I don't really have a goal this year, a target of subs. Uh, let's see if I can get over, I'm not even sure what I'm on now, over 500 for the, for the year. Only about 50 more, I think. Um, that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.